How's it going, everybody? Tyler with LMR.com. Today, we're back with episode three of Keeping Calm. If you haven't checked out the first two episodes of Keeping Calm, I highly recommend going and checking those out. In episode two, we got the car ready for prep and paint. We got the interior pulled out. We put a new hood on it, new bumper, new fenders, just to replace some things that needed to be addressed and to kind of upgrade the car a little bit. To see the full disassembly of the process and what it took to get the car ready for paint, and see all the new cool parts we're putting on, go check out episode two. So on the way to taking the car to the body shop, me and Scott kind of talked about the direction we want to take with this car and some of the cool things that New Edge guys really like to add to these cars and what we need to tell the body shop to really do on this car. When we got to Anderson Collision, we met up with Paul. Paul owns Anderson Collision. We met up with Jeff, who would be painting. Uh, Jeff Eaton is one of our good friends here at LMR, and he knows a lot of us, and he's been around the Mustang scene for a long time. So I was really confident and really glad that he was going to be taking care of this car. Uh, I'm Paul Anderson. I'm the owner of the Anderson Precision Collision Center. In this project, really what I did was uh, I worked with Mr. Springer, Scott Springer, on right an estimate, determining what we were going to do, what LMR was going to do, and uh, just kind of getting all the uh, process started. So when we met up with Paul, he came outside, took a look at the car, and kind of got a good idea of what we wanted to see with this car. We had already met with him and kind of got a basis of these key parts need to be installed to make their job a little easier and had it really prepped up, ready for them to paint the car. And then I worked real close with Jeff and Chris, uh, Jeff Eaton, the painter, and Chris Hujowski, the painter, on uh, what we're going to do, how we're going to do it, the timelines. We did put a lot of replacement parts on this car as far as the hood, the bumper, the rockers. Uh, we did want to address the holes in the trunk from the spoiler. We wanted to go with a spoilerless look on there, similar to the bullets. So we had Jeff fill in those holes, which looks amazing, and you'll see that later on in this episode. And as you can remember from one of the previous episodes, the bumper was pretty trash. We probably could have gotten it fixed, but we went ahead and opted for a new GT V6 factory style bumper. And I may have some flack for this, but I did go with an 0304 hood with a factory GT bumper. I know I could have gone with the Cobra bumper, but I wanted to be just a little different and I wasn't a huge fan of the cow hood or the factory hood. Hey guys, my name is Jeff Eaton from Waco, Texas. I work at Anderson Precision Collision. I'm one of the painters over here. I'm involved in the restoration of this 2004 Mustang. Y'all brought it over to us, this is simple. Um, I did all the body work on it, did all the prime and the paint. One of my co-workers helped me prep the car. Jeff and his team got the car disassembled and ready for paint. They moved the parts into the paint booth and got to work. We shoot Spees Hecker waterborne. The waterborne paint is just the color though. The primers and the clears, first two of your solid base clears, solid base primers. But the waterborne is what is on most cars now from the factory. So we're trying to put them back on your car exactly what came from the factory. What we've seen about the waterborne paint is it lays flatter, it's smoother, it lays, lays flat and especially on metallic and tri-stage or pearl colors. The metallics on solid colors, sometimes you want to stand up or move around and uh, you get a modeling look and so forth. And we don't see any of that in the water-based paint, the waterborne paint. And we, we feel like it's because the paint just lays flatter and it doesn't let the metallics float and change and move. With the competition orange color being such a unique color to the 04 years, it's on the Mach 1, it's on the Cobra, I just had to have it on this GT. That's one of the main reasons that I bought this car and I just couldn't switch to another color. As the car was getting painted, I wanted to wait and see the finished product, but I will admit I did stop by there a few times just to see how progress is going. And I was blown away by how beautiful that color is. When I bought the car, it was about 10 years old already, so the paint had already faded. Here in Texas, we have pretty brutal summers, so 
it had kind of already gotten some good fade into it. So seeing Competition Orange laid out brand new paint was something that I had never seen before. When we picked up the car, I was just ecstatic about how good this car looked. You could really tell Jeff and his team took their time, gave it the attention it needs, and the car has never looked this good. I don't even think it looked this good from the factory. Once we got it back to LMR, Everybody was checking it out, looking it over, and making the same remarks as never seeing competition orange look this good. This is one of the brighter colors for this year model, and it really pops once you get a brand new paint job. And that just goes to show that these cars really can be saved with just a simple paint job. One of the things that surprised me the most was how good of a job they did on the spoiler holes. When we brought the car back, the car did not have a spoiler on it, but it did still have the factory spoiler holes. Jeff went in, smoothed it all out, it looks just like a factory bullet trunk and these new edge cars look so much better without a spoiler and done the right way. While I was a little skeptical on the hood and bumper combo at first, after seeing it in paint, even without the headlights and the chin spoiler and everything else on it, it looks good and I am glad that we went this well. I can't thank Paul, Jeff, the whole team over there at Anderson enough. The car looks fantastic, super excited, I just want to get in it and drive it, even with no interior. Well guys, that's gonna wrap it up for episode three of Keeping Comp. Stay tuned, in episode four, we start putting the interior back in. I'm pretty sure you're gonna like what we're doing with the interior. Until then, keep it right here with the Real Mustang Enthusiast, LMR.com.